You see, everybody these days is talking about pot stocks, cannabis stocks, right? And, and one of the most popular ones is a company called Tilray. So is Tilray a good stock to buy right now? And that's what we're going to talk about right now. First of all, let's talk about cannabis stocks and pot stocks. Right now it is April 2019 and pot stocks are the flavor of the year. It is really interesting when you look into the trading world, there's always a flavor of the year. End of 2017, it was Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Almost a year ago, a year and a half ago, everybody was crazy about cryptocurrencies. Before that, what were people excited about? Biotech, right? I mean, everybody got excited about biotech. 3D printing was another flavor of the year. So there's always a flavor of the year. And right now it is pot stocks, cannabis stocks. One of the most popular ones is Tilray. As you can see, Tilray started trading in August 2018. So it hasn't been that long. And it started trading right here at around $26. Now Tilray got very popular. The symbol is T-L-R-Y because it moved from $20 to $100, $200. So what is this? Like a thousand percent from $20 to $200. But what goes up must come down. And this is what you see now after it spiked up. It looked very similar like Bitcoin. Let's take a look at this, by the way. So Bitcoin here, very similar. Doesn't it look like uh, like Tilray? Went all the way up and then it crashed down. So let's go back to, to Tilray. The way how I analyze stocks, it's in a very objective way. I don't care what everybody talks about these stocks. What I do is I look at three indicators. The RSI that you see right here. I look at the stochastics, which is the orange indicator, and I'm looking at the MACD. And here's what I want to see. When a stock is going up, you will see that the RSI is above 50, that also stochastics is above 50, and that the MACD, which is the purple line, is above the orange line. Right now you see that the RSI is below 50, the stochastics is below 50, and you also see that right here, the MACD is below its moving average. The purple line is below the orange line. And this means that right now, if all three indicators are saying it's more likely to go down. But let's take a look at it. Let's zoom in here a little bit and let's see of when did the indicators warn us and tell us for the first time that now Tilray is more likely to go down. So right here at around $71. This is when you see that now the RSI is below 50. You see that uh, the stochastics is below 50 and the purple line is below the orange line. If you would have sold it right there at around $71. And right now it is down to $50 where we are right now. $50.26. That is a 27% move. You can bet on a falling market. And right now, if you're looking at Tilray, it is definitely one of the stocks that right now rather seems to go down. When all three indicators are telling you that a stock is more likely to go up, you want to be a buyer if one of the indicators, and this is also very easy to see here. Let me switch back to the chart. So after the meteoric rise here of Tilray, you very quickly see that the indicators are already telling you, oh my gosh, it is time to sell. This stock is more likely to go down. That's what I'm looking for. By the way, if you would like to know more of how exactly I do this, uh, please go to mytradingroutine.com. I have a 35 minute video for you there that shows you exactly the settings of these three indicators that I use and how I use them to make my trading decisions. So Tilray right now is definitely not a buy for me. So you could look at some other pot stocks and see if they are more likely to go up. Another popular one, just to very briefly look at this, it's called weed uh, or ACB. Let's take a look at ACB first. I think it's the second biggest one, Aurora Cannabis Inc. 
Now here you see on the other hand that this stock could continue to go up. You see that the RSI is above 50, the stochastics is above 50, and the MACD is about to go above. As soon as it does, on the first day, this is when I would rather be a buyer. You know me, I personally do not like to trade these mainstream stocks because I like to find stocks that are under the radar that not everybody is talking about because I want to avoid that I'm entering a stock that has a similar fate here as Tilray shooting up like crazy and then crashing down. And again, if you're interested in how exactly I'm going to do this or how exactly every day I'm picking the stocks that I want to trade, please go to mytradingroutine.com and this is where you find all the info and also more about the software that I use to analyze these stocks. Just to wrap it up, is Tilray a buy? For me, right now, not, it is more likely to go down. Please make sure that you subscribe to YouTube and hit the little bell so that you're getting notified whenever I publish a new video. Make sure that you hit a like and uh, leave a comment. Let me know if you found this helpful here. Also, if you know anybody who might find these videos helpful, please feel free to share it. Click on like and leave a comment and let me know what you think. And make sure to subscribe to this channel to get new videos automatically.